how do we go about finding additional maps in the BMS 43 ECU? We already have an XDF created for BMS 43 by a member of the BMW Discord tuning channel, Matt. Thanks to him, we have something we can start with, tuning the BMS 43 ECU. And I've already loaded the XDF and the file that I'm working on. And what we can do here already, the maps or the, the maps that he has defined is the idle speed, the uh, torque calculation, ignition, fuel at idle, fuel part throttle, fuel at wide open throttle, uh, injection, which is fuel again, driver wish, knock control, ignition um, advance at idle, and then also ignition advance at wide open throttle, for example. What we're missing here, which is one of the first things that people like to tune on their cars is of course the rev limiter. That value has not been found in the map yet. In the hex dump, that is my goal, trying to locate the hex address for the rev limiter. Now, how do I go about doing this? Well, I have several tools I'm working with to find it, to open the hex dumps and then search and trying to identify the rev limiter address. I have a normal hex tool, reading tool, which is HXD. You can open the dumps and then it shows you the hex values of the map, of the file. Then I have Win OLS open. This is, however, only the test version. If you're familiar with tuning, Win OLS is basically the professional tuner's tool to identify map packs or maps on all kinds of ECUs. But this costs a lot of money, like thousands of euros. But you can, can download the demo version for free and just have a look and uh, go around looking at the file. If you see anything, it even pulls up potential maps that could be a present. And then you have it open. So this is just the hex dump of the BMS 43 file. You can scroll through. And there's potential maps that WinOS has detected. Buying, uh, since this is a Bosch derived ECU, um, WinOS can detect the Bosch maps where there could be something like ignition. Of course, it's on you then to find out what it is. It's a little bit data mumbo jumbo, but get used to it looking at patterns. Basically, could this be a map? This is, uh, seems to be a big map for something, maybe ignition or fuel. You can also view, of course, in uh, decimal values which may be easier for you, or you go the hex way. Depends what you're used to. And then I have Tuner Pro, of course, with the XDF. So I have these three tools. And what we're missing here on this XDF is the rev limiter. What I have researched online extensively, trying to find information about the Bosch BMS 43 ECU. There's basically nothing online to be found. No one has really done a do-it-yourself method in tuning this ECU only by professional tuners using WinOS with map packs, which are very expensive. And just uh, recently, like I posted in my other video, BMR tuning tools came out with the actual flash tool for BMS 43, which wasn't available before neither. So there was no way of actually pulling the file from the ECU and work on it. So that's the first step. We have a flash tool, but then also we need a definition file to basically look at the maps or define maps otherwise you're just looking at data here and you don't know what it is i mean what do you want to tune you want to tune maybe fuel you want to tune maybe ignition spark advance a little bit other things maybe idle speed and also a rev limiter um, amongst other things maybe for our pops and bangs deceleration but we have for now matt came up with the xdf which has the basic maps ignition fuel knock control and so forth i'm sure there's more but the first thing I wanted to check was the, the rev limiter. And how do we go about doing this? How I was doing. So I didn't find any information. I did find a long thread on BMS 46 tuning on the E46 Fanatics forum. There was some guy, Rhino, working on it since 2014, trying to identify maps, do-it-yourself method. First of all, what we need to see is, or look at is, if we want to search for maybe um, a pattern or a value. I mean, the rev limiter is just gonna be basically one address. It's just one value. So it's not gonna be a huge map. 
like of an ignition where you have several columns or rows. So you're going to look for one, one value here. Now, what could that value be? I read on the BMS 46 tuning uh, thread that the RPM uh, in the, at least the Bosch BMS 46 is defined, is derived from the uh, decimal value times 40. And the stock rev limit is 6,200 RPMs, 6,200 RPM, 6,200 divided by 40. That's our factor. We have a decimal value of 155. Now we can look here if we do again um, decimal. You could now search here by hand or well, not search by hand. Search um, for the 155 value. If you're more comfortable looking in hex, the uh, equivalent of 155 in hex is actually uh, 9B. 9B, that is 155. So, okay, it does this update thing. 9b so we can look for 9b in this map see if we can spot anything maybe a single value and then go from oh could this be the potential rev limit meaning 1b is 155 6200 and then we could change it to a higher value maybe like uh, 6800 which would be a hex value of double a a a 6800 divided by 40 is 170 which would be that's the decimal which would the hex value of 170 is a a but uh, at the moment, we're just looking for 9B. Assuming the 9B is the actual factor or number value that the ECU is using, which means 6200 RPM rev limit. Now we can go through and search here and see, okay, there's many times 9B pops up. In total, actually, I can go into hex editor. I did a comparison or a search for this value. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times 9B is present in the map. Now what to do? Of course, this is just data jumble. It won't actually tell you which one it is. So I went back to WinOLS and searched by 9B also, because here, the nice thing is if I see, for example, that the 9B value is present in a potential map, like a longer, like with rows and columns, I'm not going to bother changing that one, thinking that could be the rev limit, or I'm going to be excluding actually this address because it's part of another map so this one for example we don't really need to pay attention to for the rev limit neither with this one because it's part of a bigger map also here this one not this one could be it's outside and it's a value kind of by its own again this one don't really need to look at it it's part of a bigger you can look at the pattern here there's some rows and ascending descending values so this one we can ignore here another one could be potentially one it's by itself Again, this one here we can look at, and this one also I'm ruling out, even though it doesn't show potential maps. It does show, if you look at the pattern here, it's kind of repeating in a way. No, actually, I I am going to look at this one. Okay, okay now it's going for updates again. Okay, now this is telling me to buy it, so there's a, a pause here. Okay, let's go back to Tuna Pro. I already did all this, so I'm just explaining what I did, and I'm just comparing now. Let's go to the difference tool again, comparing what I found and comparing just um, the tune without the rev limiter and then before what I changed. So I identified basically one, two, three, four, five values with 9B after cross-checking in WinOLS if it, they're part of a, a map or not and identified those five, one, two, three, four, five addresses as potential locations for the rev limiter. Okay, now when you flash the BMS 43, you can only flash a full, and this takes quite a lot of time. So I decided to do the kind of brute force method in basically saying, I'm just going to change all these 9B values, which I have identified as potentially being the rev limiter to 6,800, which would be a value of 170 in decimal and hex value of AA. Changed all of those at once. And I go here again in the other, in the changed file. I basically just changed those to AA, hoping that I caught one of those being the rev limiter and raising the rev limit, basically. Of course, here it shows in Tuner Pro item not defined because, like I said before, the XDF that was created now to work on it only contains the basics, but the rev limiter unfortunately wasn't in there. And that's why I took it upon myself to find it and just going by matter of what I just described. I changed already the 9B values to AA in the map, one, two, three, four, five times. 
hoping that when I flash this new one, that one of those addresses is the rev limiter and won't mess up anything else and will be successful. So that is the next test. I'm going to load the tune I have here with some other changes, ignition and fuel, but basically the rev limiter changes or hoping what's, what is the rev limiter in those addresses and then try it out. We'll go from there. Okay, first time now trying to flash this on the car. Revision of the tune on this E36 Touring. The M43 Big 16 engine with the uh, BMS 43 ECU. I already did the bench flashing and now I want to do a revision and see if I can do it on the car, which shouldn't be an issue. Now it's flashing, it's gonna take like two minutes. So we can get some HPs out of this thing. I'm trying to find the rev limiter and raise the rev limiter. So I did some modifications in the map. I think it could be. Raise those values and let's see if we're successful in finding it, locating it after flashing. Still flashing, three minutes, but the change was I searched for the hex value of 9B, which would indicate 6,000 RPM and changed it to the hex value of AA, which would be 6,800 where it's plausible. So by default, I changed like five values I could find in the map, which I think could be related to uh, RPM limit. So no clue if this is going to work or what's going to happen when I start the car or if it changed anything. All right, just uh, driving now. Unfortunately, I cannot log. I have to use Impa, but the uh, I think I found the rev limiter by, cha by changing those five, six values by default. So this is what's going to, what it's like. <laughs> 